Ladies and gentlemen, the manager of the recruit training unit, Inspector Darren Carnes, will now take command of the parade. The parade will now receive the parade host, Ms. Tracy Cashman, Acting Executive Manager, Education and Training. She will be met by the Commander, Recruit and Policing Skills, Superintendent Andy Morrow. The arrival now of Deputy Commissioner, Specialist Operations, Mr Ross Barnett. Mr Barnett is representing the Queensland Police Commissioner, Mr Ian Stewart. He will be greeted by the parade host, escorted to the dais and received by the parade with a general salute. Principal official guest, the Honourable Mr Jack Dempsey, MP, Minister for Police, Fire and Emergency Services. He'll be met by Deputy Commissioner Barnett, escorted to the dais and accorded a general salute by the parade. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the Australian National Anthem to be sung by recruit Christopher Troop. Police officers in uniform and other uniform personnel are requested to salute. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated.
Deputy Commissioner Barnett will now formalise the graduation of six police dogs into the service. The police dogs and the handlers have undertaken a 14 week training course at the Queensland Police Dog Squad where they have been trained in general purpose duties and will be deployed within metropolitan and regional locations. The course is completed in Brisbane under the guidance of the State Coordinator, Senior Sergeant Frank Lenaro. Police dog Caleb and his handler, Sergeant Trevor O'Neill, are stationed at the Toowoomba Dog Squad. Caleb and Trevor will perform duties as general purpose police dog team. Police dog Hiko and his handler, Senior Constable Dan Hayward, are stationed at the Sunshine Coast Dog Squad. Hiko and Dan will perform duties as a general purpose police dog team. Police dog Jeru and his handler, Senior Constable David Ray, are stationed at the Logan Dog Squad. Jeru and David will perform duties as a general purpose police dog team. Police dog Claude and his handler, Senior Constable James Griffin, are stationed at the Brisbane Dog Squad. Claude and James will perform duties as a general purpose police dog team. <laughs> police dog Hondo and his handler, Senior Constable Nick Donnell, are stationed at the Gold Coast Dog Squad. Hondo and Nick will perform duties as a general purpose police dog team. Police dog Jai and his handler, Senior Constable Daniel Kennedy, are stationed at the Logan Dog Squad. Jai and Dan will perform duties as a general purpose police dog team. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the induction of six new police dogs. They will now commence their role of tracking and searching with their experienced police handlers. Please join me now in congratulating our newest operational police dog team. Undoubtedly today, the highlight of our program is the imminent induction into the Queensland Police Service of the recruits on parade today. I know that many of you have travelled long distances to be here for this very special day. Before a police recruit begins to perform their duties as a constable of police, there is a formal process to be applied in accordance with the Police Service Administration regulation. This practice requires the individual recruit to pledge their loyalty to our, to our sovereign, Queen Elizabeth II. The member then signs the oath or affirmation of office in the presence of a commissioned police officer. This segment, referred to as an induction, is a transition from a learning environment to being a sworn officer in the Queensland Police Service. As part of the process, each member is presented with a wallet containing their identity card and official police badge. Today, the swearing in tables will be used for the first time and will become an integral part of future graduation parades. Table officers, please fall in.
Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the administration of the oath and affirmation of office. reciting the oath or affirmation of office in unison with the recruits on parade. Prefaced by the word I, state your given names and surname in full. You are to repeat your oath or affirmation of office after me. Swear by Almighty God, That I will well and truly serve my sovereign, Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors, and successors. According, to law in the of according to law in the office of constable, or in such capacity as I may be appointed, promoted, or reduced. Without favour, affection, malice or ill will. From this state until I am discharged. That I will cause Her Majesty's peace to be kept and preserved. That I will prevent to the best of my power. All offences against the same. And that, and that, while I am a member of the Queensland Police Service, I, Service, I will, to the best of my skill and knowledge, discharge all duties legally imposed upon me, faithfully and according to law, so help me God. Thank you, Mr. Barnett. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Please be seated. Table officers, please be seated. Today we are inducting 93 recruits into the service. Their training included instruction in the areas of driver training, physical skills education, computer training, and firearms and officer safety.
parade sergeant for today's parade is Senior Sergeant Peter Hogan. Senior Sergeant Hogan commenced his career in policing in 1994. During his career, he has performed duties as a general duties officer, an investigator with the Criminal Investigation Branch and Juvenile Aid Bureau. He has also performed duties with the Tactical Crime Squad and as Operations Coordinator Tactician for Brisbane West. Senior Sergeant Hogan has been involved in, a training, in training as an Operational Skills, Firearm and Taser Instructor over the last 10 years and is currently on secondment to the Police Academy as an Intake Coordinator. Today's banner party is composed of facilitators from the Recruit Training Unit. The privilege of carrying today's banner is given to Acting Sergeant Colin Flaherty. The escorts for the banner are Acting Senior Sergeant Gerard Partridge and Acting Sergeant Graham Stager. The facilitators involved in the training of the graduating groups are comprised of sworn police officers with years of operational police experience and staff members who come from an academic and instructional background. All facilitators possess the skills required to teach in accordance with the high educational requirements for this training establishment.
We would like to acknowledge and congratulate our award recipients on their achievements during the Recruit Program. These recruits are Wade Walden, Noel Pierce Blundell, Ryan Leahy, Michelle White, Nathan Bond, Tim Salau, Kate Sherritt and David Inhofe. Congratulations to all our award recipients. Today, the graduating constables are also being presented with the Queensland Police Service 150 year citation. The citation is worn on the right chest of their former police uniform shirt. The citation is blue and white, denoting the colours for police worldwide, and is inscribed with the words Queensland Police above the colour and the numerals 1864 to 2014 written below. Our next parade will take place on the 24th of July 2014, here at the Tom Malloy Parade Ground. On that parade, we expect to have 45 recruits inducted into the service. Ladies and gentlemen, today you're witnessing the first intake subscribed to the Office of Constable on the new ceremonial graduation tables. Again, we take this opportunity to thank the 12 students and their instructional staff, Mr. John O'Bushby, Mr. Reuben Schmidt, Mr. Alan Craven, and Mr. Tim Tapscott, 
for their professionalism in the design and manufacture of these tables. In addition, we acknowledge the enthusiastic support offered by the Head of Department of Trade Training, Mrs Joanne Marcus, for overseeing the project. We also thank the Steenthorpe State High School Principal, Mr Peter Grant, for his school's participation in this project to present to the Queensland Police Service Academy this collective set of ceremonial tables. These tables will be used for future graduation parades both here in Oxley and at our North Queensland campus in Townsville. Thank you, table officers. Please fall out. Ladies and gentlemen, Deputy Commissioner Barnett will now present the Commissioner's Executive Award. This honour is given to the individual who has achieved excellence, competency and professionalism in the recruit program. Assessment is accredited on individual conduct, leadership qualities, skills performance, academic results and commitment to the ideal principles of service to the community. The Commissioner's Award for Intake 9 of 2013 is Constable Wade Walden. Ladies and gentlemen, please offer your congratulations to Constable Walden. The Queensland Police Service Statement of Ethics supports our vision and purpose, the priorities and qualities of the QPS, namely courage, fairness and pride, and to deliver quality policing services to the people of Queensland. It is a commitment that every member of the service undertakes in accordance with the standards of practice, the code of conduct and the functions of the service under the Police Service Administration Act. The statement of ethics is a standard expected by the Commissioner, his colleagues and the greater community and an acceptance by the individual officer to practice high standards of conduct and behaviour as a police officer both on and off duty. I now invite Constable Walden to adopt a statement of ethics on behalf of the constables on parade. On behalf of the new constables, I am pleased to adopt a statement of ethics. As a member of the Queensland Police Service, I have a duty to protect life and property, preserve the peace, prevent offences, detect and apprehend offenders, and help those in need of assistance. At all times, I will carry out my duties without fear or favour, malice or ill will. I will act honestly and with the utmost integrity. I will make every effort 
to respect and uphold the rights of all people in the community, regardless of race, social status or religion. I will strive for excellence and endeavour to improve my knowledge and professionalism. I will keep confidential all matters which I may learn in my official capacity, except as necessary in the course of my duties. I will practice self-discipline in word and deed, both on and off duty. I will resist the temptation to participate in any activity which is improper or which can be construed as being improper. I will not misuse my office for personal gain. I will accept responsibility for my own actions and for acts which I may order. I accept the desirability of these ethics as an integral part of my personal and professional life. Thank you, Constable Walden. Senior Police Chaplain, Reverend Graham Ramsden, will now offer the blessing. Lord God, we know that you're establishing processes for justice, peace and good order. That a caring community works to keep safe those who are vulnerable and innocent. For this reason, we ask your blessing upon these newly graduated constables as they become sworn members of the Queensland Police Service. We thank you for your willingness to serve the community in this way. And we're thankful for the hard work and personal application they have given of preparing themselves for the duty of being a police officer. We pray they may always exercise the power of their office with responsibility and that they be aware of the influence they are entrusted with as police officers. Lord, empower these new officers' courage when they're confronted by danger. Give them integrity when confronted with ethical choices. Empower them with compassion when assisting those suffering and victimised. Give them impartiality when enforcing the law. And bless them with a willing graciousness to accept assistance when needed. Be present with these officers in the challenges of their new profession so that at the end of every shift they may, with conscience and pride, no, that they have served with honour. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Ramsden. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Deputy Commissioner Barnett will now address the parade. Good afternoon everyone. Can I just begin by uh, expressing an apology from Commissioner Stewart who was unavoidably detained at the last minute. As I say, what an extreme privilege it is that I am able to undertake his responsibilities at this most important ceremony this afternoon. Could I begin with some acknowledgements please for our Minister, the Minister for Police, Fire and Emergency Services, the Honourable Jack Dempsey and the Minister, thank you for attending this afternoon. I also acknowledge the attendance of the Consul of Japan, Mr Yoshihiro Toshima, and acknowledge that when he is not seconded to consular duties, the Consul is substantively the Deputy Inspector of the Japanese National Police. Thank you, Consul, for being here. And I acknowledge also the Chief Executive Officer of the PSPA, Mr Kelvin Anderson. And I acknowledge we have a number of senior representatives of the Defence Forces here this afternoon. But I particularly acknowledge representing the Navy Commander Peter Pedman, DSM, who's the senior naval officer in South Queensland. And just acknowledge that in the Queen's Birthday Honours List, uh, published last Monday, Commander Pedman was awarded the Medal of the Order of Australia. So congratulations on that. Also acknowledge my fellow deputies, uh, Deputy Commissioner Brett Pointing, Acting Deputy Commissioners Peter Barron and Bob G. The Acting Executive. Executive Manager, Education and Training Command, Ms Tracy Cashman. There are a number of Commission Officers of the Queensland Police, so I acknowledge them collectively. Distinguished guests, other police officers and staff members of the Queensland Police Service. Ladies and gentlemen, and most appropriately and most importantly, the 93 Hills Constables of the Queensland Police Service who are on parade. It is with great pride and pleasure that I extend a warm welcome to the family and friends of our graduating officers as they are appointed first year constables during the ceremony today. 
Over the last six months, these recruits have undertaken an extensive course designed to introduce them to various aspects of Operation Policing in Queensland. These constables have been inspired with high ideals and encouraged to achieve their very best in this honourable career. Their sense of duty, loyalty and service to all Queenslanders has been enhanced and strengthened during the course. As Queensland's newest constable, you are well prepared for the challenges that lie ahead in your career as a police officer. From experience, I know the job is demanding, not only on the serving member, but for family and friends. Family and friends, thank you for supporting these recruits over the last six months, and I ask you to continue to do this during their careers as they serve in locations across this great state. There are many expectations placed on the Office of Constable. And my expectation is that all of our people work together every day to support each other, to stop crime, make the community safer and build strong relationships. Delivering on these important objectives requires people of the highest calibre and commitment with a unique combination of qualities, such as those people you see before you today. As our newest constables, you should remember that you are now the public face of the Queensland Police Service, and we expect all of our people to act with courage, fairness and pride. You should always have the courage to honour your oath of office and the statement of ethics that have been adopted on your behalf by Constable Wayne Walden, who was the recipient of the Commissioner's Award. You should display fairness and be professional at all times acting objectively and without bias, remembering that every member of the public is to be treated with dignity and respect. Every interaction is an opportunity to build relations and achieve a positive outcome. You should take pride and place a high value on teamwork, people, our performance and our partnership with the community. Policing can be a dangerous job. You need to accept that there is always an element of risk in police work. You will need to remain vigilant to minimise that risk, avoid complacency, stay alert and be aware. You will see the good and bad sides of people. You will encounter some of the worst kinds of human behaviour, but I ask you to remain positive. Stay focused and ensure your actions are always just and fair. At various points in your career, you will all be physically, morally and intellectually challenged. Have no doubt that if you are not up to that challenge, you would not be graduating today. I am extremely confident that the future of policing is in good hands with the constables that are here in front of us today. Constables, you are entitled to feel very proud of your achievement, as today marks the end of your training and the beginning of so much more. Every police officer, retired and servant, who is here today remembers their swearing in parade like it was yesterday. They cherish this moment. Let me conclude today by sincerely congratulating you all on your graduation. You follow in the footsteps of great officers who have set standards of courage, fairness and pride. I have no doubt you will add to this rich history. Be confident that you are well prepared for your future enjoy the challenges and opportunities in having one of the best careers in the world. Well done to you all. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy Commissioner. Our principal official guest, the Honourable Mr Jack Dempsey, MP. Well, what a great day it is here in Queensland today. First of all, I'd like to acknowledge uh, Deputy Commissioner Ross Barnett, Consul of Japan and Detective Inspector of the Japanese Police, Mr Yoshiro Toshima. Deputy Commissioners uh, Brett Pointing, Peter Barron, Acting Deputy Commissioner Bob G, CEO of the Public Safety Business Agency, Calvin Anderson, Deputy Commissioner Mark Roach, representatives of the Australian Defence Force, commissioned officers, 
distinguished guests, other police officers, other ladies and gentlemen that are here, not just as families and friends, but uh, that are here just to support these officers on their journey ahead. Particularly the family and friends, and most importantly, the 93 new police officers that we have here in Queensland. I'd also like to acknowledge uh, Peter Flexman and the Pipes and, uh, and Drums, representatives from the Queensland Police Union, the Commissioned Officers Union, the Police Credit Union, the Retired Police Association, uh, public members who come here on every occasion to witness great, this great spectacle and the families and friends that they come. The young children, the young and future generations that we see up here from the uh, Stanthorpe State High School. Why I want to mention everyone is because everybody is here because they trust you and they believe in you, the 93 new police officers that are going to uh, obviously go out and pound the beat right across this great state of Queensland. You see here today on the sacred acre, and I had the privilege of being sworn in on this acre many years ago, and it's great to see these traditions back. You see the 150th year banner celebrating the past police officers and the amazing effort that they have contributed not just to the police service, but to the community and society that we have here in Queensland. You see the colour flag party here wearing the maroon and bringing that tradition back into the Queensland Police Service. These traditions obviously come with a great deal of sacrifice and a great deal of determination. So in advance, I'd like to thank your families and friends. I'd also like to thank the police chaplains, and I suggest that you use them from time to time for your confidence, because these are your rock. And as the Deputy Commissioner has said, you will see the best of the best, but you'll see the worst of the worst. And to get through that, you'll need the support of family and friends. But you'll also need all that expertise that you got from the great instructors that we have here and the teamwork which you will work together in your future years in the, uh, the Queensland Police Service. While I'm talking about signs, symbols and traditions, I particularly want to uh, acknowledge again and thank uh, the Principal, Peter, Steve, Peter Grant, Deputy Commissioner uh, Joe Marcus that we have here and the students of the uh, Stanthorpe uh, State School, students from uh, Stanthorpe and uh, Tenterfield and out as far as Texas, who actually built these tables that we have before us for the next 150 years of police officers to sign. Now, it is great, six months of work put into that, and their great skills, but uh, particularly to, uh, as I spoke to them earlier in the day, about the privilege of officers coming here and when they swear that oath to serve the people of Queensland without favour, affection, malice or ill will. It is a swearing in that uh, comes with a great deal of responsibility. And that responsibility is on your fine shoulders. Because when you leave the parade ground today, comes with you the same authority as the Commissioner of Police to take the rights and liberties away from other Queenslanders. And there certainly is a great deal of professionalism, ethics and standards that go with that job. I know that most of these words and that I say here today, and I look particularly at the, uh, the book that I have here before us, and it's very symbolic of what we have here in Queensland. People come in from all areas, all different careers, nationalities, different cultures. But when you're here today, you're here together, one, as part of the Queensland Police family. So I say thank you to you, thank you to your families. I wish you all the best in the future. And uh, please, uh, through hard work comes great opportunities. But uh, I say please stay safe and, uh, and look after each other. Just uh, in conclusion, I've never seen a group of recruits sigh with a sense of relief more so than I've seen here today. And that relief just goes to show the excitement that you have for the future years ahead. I've never seen uh, recruits sign, it, sign the uh, oath for so quick as well. So that certainly was a, a great pleasure. And uh, as the Com Deputy Commissioner alluded to, you will remember this but also your families will remember this as one of the most important days in your life. And I certainly thank them and thank you 
for your courage, determination, uh, obviously perfectionism as you go forward. All the best and thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Dempsey. The parade will now retire and reform in preparation to complete the final segment of the ceremony. In the final manoeuvre of the ceremony, the parade will advance in review order. This movement involves the constables marching forward in line, concluding with a general salute. This is performed with no offensive spirit and is given as a mark of respect to the principal official guests and members of the senior leadership team. The parade commander, Inspector Darren Carnes, will now resume command of the parade. The parade commander will now call for the parade sergeant and hand over command. Ladies and gentlemen, the Banner Party, accompanied by the Queensland Police Pipes and Drums, will now march off parade to PPS 150. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please stand?
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated. The constable started as a recruit intake in December of 2013 and were trained in four individual groups. They are now formed a united intake in preparation to serve the community of Queensland as newly sworn police officers. The parade sergeant will now call for a member of the graduating intake to assume command of the new constable. This final gesture recognises the individual who displayed leadership throughout the training program. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the new constables of the Queensland Police Service. Before the constables are dismissed, may I thank you once again for being here with us this afternoon. At the conclusion of the parade, Please feel free to move on to the parade ground and congratulate the men and women who will now join their colleagues serving the people of Queensland. The parade host, Ms Tracy Cashman, would then like to invite you for light refreshments to be served in the Academy dining room. On behalf of the members of the Queensland Police Service Senior Executive, may I thank you for your attendance and wish you a very good evening and a safe journey home. The Honourable Mr Dempsey has asked the two officers who are being posted to Harvey Bay Station, please come up after the parade and introduce yourself to him. <laughs> Constable Pierce Blundell will now lead the new members in thanking you in their own special way. He will then dismiss the parade. 